All right. Um, it's time for a amazing new segment, guys. Now, no tech time with Edward this week, because no Edward. Jess, unless Jesse wants to do it. I'm good. All right. So we're going to launch into a new segment. You know, Jorge, we've had some a lot of fan demand for more stuff from you. So you're presenting this uh, new segment. Why don't you tell us a bit about it? Um, I have a lot of dreams, and they're kind of stupid, but um, I usually tell them to Jeremy and Edward and so... So without further ado, Jorge's Dreamscape. Oh, oh, oh. Welcome to Jorge's Dreamscape. Jorge, what is your dream for this week? Well, um, I went to school... And it looked like Hogwarts. And it was like the stairs were like Inception. It never like ended. And then everybody kept on comment- commenting on my hair. And then I, w- I uh, went to the washroom and, and there were like random peop- people there. And then I looked in the mirror and my hair was blonde. And I was like, what is this? Oh my god, that's a shocker. Confessions of a meth addict. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jorge, sorry, continue. And then the people randomly disappeared. And then, I, and then I just put some water on it, and it turned to, like, black. And I walked outside, and there was no roof on the, on the school. Oh, God, it's a convertible school. It was so intense. And the sky was, like, it was all dark outside. So it was, like, nighttime. And there were, like, there were bats going all over the place, and it was scary. Oh, bats. <laughs> oh, all right, that's the scariest thing I've ever heard. It was, and then I and then I w- woke up. All right, that's been Jorge's dreamscape. Oh, 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 oh. Jorge's dreamscape. All right, now I was hanging out with my pal Jesse this week, and we played a little thing called the PlayStation Move. It's a really fun device, Jeremy. It's a really fun device. I was having some fun with it. Um, we tried out Sports Champions since Jesse only has one game. And one controller. So first we rocked some disc golf. Um, I'm not that great at disc golf, but it seemed pretty good. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, Jeremy, the score was like 10 to like 200 or like th- like 34 or something like that. Uh, yeah, maybe something like that. But I got my revenge when we played the first period bocce. He beat me 2-1 to one in a best-of-three series by one point. And then I came back, because Bocce's so good, and completely destroyed you. I was not on my game that day, Jeremy. I was not on my game. I think Sports Champions Bocce is the best thing I've played with motion gaming. I've tried the Wii, the Kinect, the Move. I really think that was the most fun I've had with motion gaming. It's probably just because Bocce is so good, but... I think what the thing was is that the Kinect is so far ahead of its time. Like, everyone's still getting, like, used to the Wii and the PlayStation Move, and then they bring out the Kinect. If they were to bring it out in, a f- like, a few years from now, I think it'd be better. Also, I can dance with, like, Soldier Boy without a console. I don't need any fancy device for that. The people in the commercials have probably been doing that one song for, like, f- a month and a half. Just that one song practicing, because it's not that easy. Soldier Boy AO. Yes. Okay, thanks for that, Jeremy. Alright, uh, let's move on. Talk about what games came out this week. Um, Jorge, I know this is a big one for you. Why don't you tell us what the big game this week was? Test Driver Limited 2! Why don't you tell us a bit about it? Um, well, it's basically about like the racing life, and you're like, in the beginning, and you're like in a party, and the music's blasting, and you're like, boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. Great. Copyrighted song in the podcast. Excellent. Uh, yeah, for some reason there's a first person part where you party. And then you wake up in Jira Valley. I don't know. It looks pretty dumb. But, but, there's, I think there's turn signals. Hold on. Can we get confirmation on the turn signals? I don't know. All right. We're going to have to figure this out. Jorge, you need to get on your ball with the investigation. The only important part of all racing games, turn signals. Get on it. No, it's just because all the videos that I watched, there were nobody used any turn signals. That is a disgrace. Good thing we are here. Yep. Uh, other games, Jesse. 
I, I think you might like Mario. Is that right? I like Mario. Mario's fun. Well, hold on. Let me spin you a crazy one here. What if Mario played sports? What kind of sports? A mixture of sports. Such as? Hockey. That'd be, that'd be, that'd be awesome. That'd be awesome. Volleyball. Less awesome, but still kind of cool. Two other ones, which I don't remember. Well, I, I can't comment on that. One of them's basketball. Eh, that could be fun. I don't know. I don't know. Waluigi with the mad dunks. Sick hops. He is eight foot eight. Oh, is that confirmed? Eight foot eight? Something under those terms. Is that on the uh, Waluigi wiki page? Yeah, look it up, folks. Great. Um, also, stacking, which is an adventure game where you play as a Russian stacking doll, and you go into bigger Russian stacking dolls and control them. It actually looks really cool. It's from the uh, creators of Brutal Legend and Psychonauts. I like me some adventure games. It looks pretty funny. I might have to check that one out. And uh, trivia games. Jesse, you know who's really good at trivia games? I am. Mm, uh, no, actually me, since I beat you at trivia games. Okay, well, join Reach for the Top and disown me at trivia then. I don't know. That's not a video game. I don't know what that is. Anyway, uh, You Don't Know Jack is out. A old series. Revered by many is back. I don't know. I didn't play much of it, but... um. It has a bald dude on the box. Okay. Jorge, do you like bald men? Sure. See, I'd normally ask Edward that, but he's not here, so I figured I'd throw it to you. Bald men are not cool. All right, good. Um, looks like we're kind of winding down here. This is a bit of a shorter one, since there's no Edward to yammer about something. You're just going to have to edit that out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, let's eat some food. <laughs> Food for so I was at the IGA, and um, I thought, all right, I'll just get some sort of classic candy. Then I walked up, big sign, new. Now here at the Dietrich Gamecast, we're all about the newness. And uh, this is the latest product here in Canada, Hershey's Cookie and Cream Drops. Now, the big thing a- advertised in the packaging here is that there is no candy shell. So Jesse's busted these open. Jesse, uh, describe it. Um, it says Hershey's on the front, and it's in a cookie shape. I suppose it's smaller, and it has, like, chocolate chip drop things on the front. It's kind of like a bigger M&M. That's kind of the feeling I'm getting, but with no candy shell. Precisely, yes. All right, Jesse, uh, pop that in and give us a flavor analysis. That's not that bad. It's a, it's a it's pretty good candy. It's just like having a cookie and cream bar, but in a M&M shape. All right, Jesse, what would you score this out of 10? I'd give it about a 9.3 on the on the candy scale. Jorge, how about you? Um, 8.75. I have to average this in my head, you asshole. All right. How could I make this average evenly? Who says 8.75? Honestly. Kids who don't have English as their first language. Like the Peruvian wonder. Calories are 210. Sodium is 75 milligrams with 3%. Enough of this. We're not a health podcast. And delicious... That's great. The average is eight. I'm not counting your guys' stupid scores. Hershey's cookie and cream drops are at eight out of ten. Uh, I said 9.3 and he said 8.7. So wouldn't that make the average nine? Except I'm ignoring your, you assholes. It's an eight. So that's been Food for Thought. Dietrich Gamecast, D- Green Crew all agree. Hershey's cookie and cream drops, eight out of ten. No, we don't. Food for All right, that's been the Dietrich Gamecast for Sunday, February the 13th, 2011. Uh, we hope you had a good time. If you want to contact us, 
email us at DietrichGameCast at gmail.com. Or uh, we have a Twitter page now, Jorge. It's pretty intense. Yeah, at Dietrich Game, no Dietrich Podcast at Dietrich Podcast. Also join the Facebook group Dietrich Gamecast. Um, you can follow me at Twitter on Twitter at at DJ Jmat. You can follow our special guest Jesse at Test Simulator. Yeah, Test Simulator, Test Simulator, T E H Simulator. And no Jorge. Someday, someday. All right, we'll wait with bated breath for that. But um, be sure to join us next Sunday for another episode of the Dietrich Gamecast.